All right, here's the three biggest mistakes I see people make when training their abs. So if you want a strong, shredded six pack, keep watching this video, let's get right into it. So this first mistake is not training all your abdominal muscles correctly. And here's what I mean by that. Let's take a look at our fancy little drawing we have here. So we have the upper abdominals, we have the lower abdominals, we have the obliques, so they run kind of downward, and then we have the inner obliques, and those run upward. And then we have the transverse abdominus, and that kind of runs across the lower abs and round. That's like our natural weight belt. It helps to keep everything tight and stable, and it helps prevent the abdominal wall from bloating out, and that's what we do not want. So it's important when you're doing your ab training to make sure that you're working all these muscles. There's a lot going on here. Typically, I would start with the lower abs because that's going to be the hardest to train. So that's going to be your, your bottom up movements like your hanging leg raises, reverse crunches, stuff like that to target the lower abs. And then we can move on to the upper abs, like your crunches, right? Your crunches, cable crunches, stuff like that. And then your obliques, right? So you got your your Russian twists, your cable wood choppers. And then the one thing I see a lot of people miss is the lower rotation for the obliques. Uh, that's like hanging from a pull-up bar and doing your around the worlds or laying on the floor and just doing your windshield wipers. Um, that's one of the things that I see a lot of people miss. And then your transverse, transverse abdominus. Um, the way to train this is when you are training your abs to make sure you're cinching in and tightening the core, making sure that you're not bloating out. I like to do vacuums and that actually does have a functional component to it. Um, it, it strengthens the transverse abdominus and it, it, like I said, prevents your abdominal wall from bloating out and keeps everything nice and tight. Um, and this is really important to control that when you're doing things like squats, because in my opinion, I don't think you should use a weight belt because like I said, we have a natural weight belt if you know how to use it correctly. Um, you know, I squat pretty heavy and I don't use a weight belt because I don't need to because... I train my core properly, and I think when you do that, you really don't need a, a weight belt. The second biggest mistake I see people make is not using weights when they're training abs. And weights are a great way to break down the muscle and build it back just like any other muscle. And when we do that, we're gonna build those deep cuts in the abs that everyone wants. Weights are also going to provide that eccentric overload and progressive overload that we need to grow the abs and get them stronger. And it also makes them explosive. And if we want to be agile and functional, we need to make sure that our abs are, are strong and explosive and able to handle you know, tension overload. All right, the third biggest mistake is not training your abs frequently enough. So the abs, we use them so often in everything that we do walking, getting up throughout our day. So the abs actually recover pretty quickly. So you can train them. I like to train them five to six days a week and they don't have, you don't have to do a, a 30 minute workout. You can just do a, you know, a five to 12 minute workout as long as it's intense enough. And like I said, you're incorporating all the functions of the abs. You can get a great workout in just five to 12 minutes. And I like to do that at the end of my weight training sessions. So I'll spend about, you know, about 10 minutes training my abs, incorporating all the factors I talked about. And that's really strengthened my core and really given me a lot of stability. And, you know, it's really helped improve my squatting specifically because you kind of have to think about your abs or your core as the foundation of everything that you do because imagine an X, right? So this is our body. This is our upper body. This is our lower body. The core is the center of everything. It's the center of everything we do and it connects everything that we do. And it helps transfer the energy. So when we're doing any, any kind of 
exercise, whether it's a bench press or squat, row, what we're doing is we're transferring energy from the ground up. And if you don't have a strong core, a stable core, you're gonna let a lot of energy leak out essentially. So you're not able to transfer that energy correctly and it's gonna prevent you from being the strongest that you can. And it's also gonna prevent back injuries and a lot of other injuries because your body is gonna compensate for not having that stable core. So that's the three biggest mistakes. Hope that helped, see you on the next one.